Icelander has formally switched to Airbus with an order for 13 of the A321 XLRs as part of its fleet renewal and future growth plans. While an order consists of the XLR, Iceland Air further says that they'll be acquiring four of the A321 LR units on a lease to further boost their offering. The A321's extensive variants mean that Iceland Air can reach most of their target destinations in the network with the range, while also these planes' capabilities will open up new possibilities too. The A321 XLR is a pivotal order in the Iceland Air future as it will see them switch allegiances to Airbus for a type of aircraft such as this, which if you were unaware, is intended to replace their iconic Boeing 757s. Iceland Air very generally falls into a group of airlines that have struggled to replace their 757s adequately. And with Boeing not progressing on a replacement, in more cases than none, Airbus's A321 series does become the favourite. When taking a look at some of the airlines in a similar position to Iceland Air, I do immediately think of Delta, who yes, do have commitments for narrowbody aircraft that they'll look towards replacing the 757s, but ultimately according to sources and therefore the executives at the airline, these just very simply don't perfectly replace the 757s because there's nothing on the market that is the ideal replacement. And while the world can't be full of perfects, you would argue that in the aviation industry, with so many airlines wanting this aircraft, their frustrations are more than present. The CEO of Iceland Air said, We are very pleased to announce that we have now finalised the purchase agreement with Airbus. The efficient A321 XLA aircraft will further strengthen our business model, increase our flexibility and provide opportunities for future growth as well as further support our sustainability efforts. The first aircraft is scheduled for delivery in 2029, but we plan to have four Airbus aircraft in operation before summer of 2025. Those aircraft that are mentioned for the 2025 arrival are likely going to be at those A321 Allars, which is a perfect lead up to eventually acquiring the XLR. The firming of the deal is no shock because this is not the first time we've heard of Icelanders intent to acquire the XLR. In April, the pair signed an MOU, so they were always intent on signing an agreement formally, it was just a matter of when rather than if. Despite this being a new commitment, the aircraft will actually only begin being delivered to Iceland Air in 2029. What this means is those 757s will stick around for a little bit longer, so if you'd like the opportunity to either fly on it, plane spot it, or something else in between, make the most of it. Because one day the airline will focus on strictly flying the XLRs as the 757 replacement to go along with the already flying 737 Maxes. Now, what I'd really love to hear, though, from you with regards to the commitment is your thoughts on the whole debacle with regards to a 757 replacement. And our Boeing doesn't have a plane that is an ideal replacement for this aircraft. And if anything, it's leading customers such as Iceland Air and more away from Boeing products and to the best available option, which even then maybe is just not the perfect replacement for this iconic flying pencil. Thanks a lot for your support. Take care and be safe, and I'll see you next time for more coverage on our industry. And we'll fly.